Today on Saturday Sound Guy, we go hands-free with small recorders. Hey Sound Guys and Girls, I'm Jimmy Hepworth, your Saturday Sound Guy. And take a look at all of these recorders. Now as a student, my first piece of gear was the Zoom H4n. This one to be exact. It was my first microphone, my first recorder, and my first audio interface. And it's a great piece of gear. Recently, the small recorder market has exploded with many, many more options. They are extremely useful on production, especially on low budget production, but can be difficult to work with despite and sometimes because of their small size. So today I'm gonna to show you four mounting options for your small recorder while you're recording. These solutions are really meant for the boom operators on those low or no budget productions that know that having at least one dedicated sound guy is going to make or break your film. The first solution is the most popular and also the cheapest. It's a lanyard. Now, the H4n and many other recorders have a dedicated spot for wrist straps and lanyards and things like that. Simply put it on there and wrap it around your neck and you're able to go hands free. Now I should mention that the Zoom H4n has a rather small mounting hole that only takes lanyard clips that have a larger mouth. This could be easily fixed, however, with a string and a simple knot. The advantage here is obviously the cost. Go dig through the piles of old lanyards you have from trade shows and go hands-free with your recorder so you can keep both hands on the boom pole. The disadvantage of this solution is the viewing angle. It can be difficult to keep an eye on your levels while also keeping an eye on the shot. Also, having these jangly moving parts may introduce some noise into your recordings. The second option is a camcorder shoulder mount. Now, I actually used this for an entire short film, and it works pretty well. This is a great option, especially for recorders like the Tascam DR60D, because you're able to see the screen, the shot, and your boom pole all at the same time. It's less effective for the small zoom recorders, but it's still really helpful for keeping things contained and out of the way. Now, this unit costs about $17, and it is really cheaply made. In fact, the quarter 20 mount is way too long, making it really difficult to attach it tightly to pretty much anything. There are some other manufacturers that you might have better luck with, and I'll link some in the description. Another disadvantage is that it can be a lot to take off and put on when everything is all hooked together, making it difficult to take it off to take a break. This one is really cool. This is a custom made 3D printed belt holster for a tripod head. This was made by my friend and coworker, Carlos. I'll leave a link for his 3D printing shop as well as this particular design in the links below. The tripod head attaches to the quarter 20 hole on your recorder and then slides snugly into the holster. Now, Carlos was cool and he also put some SD card slots into the holder as well for storage. This option is great for hands-free operation but also doesn't allow you to see the levels while you're recording. It can also be a pain to change the batteries because the tripod head is mounted to the quarter 20 slot. Our last option is this simple clamping system often used to hold your external monitor for your camera. With this clamp, I can attach my recorder straight to the boom pole. This gives me a compact way to hold the recorder and the microphone and be able to check my levels easily. I found this clamp on Amazon and it has a surprisingly good build quality for just $16. It has a full metal construction and a very sturdy clamp. I don't believe that this clamp is going anywhere once it's tightened down. My favorite part about this is just how easy it is to pick up and set down. Everything is nice and compact when it's attached to the boom pole. You can easily see the levels on pretty much any recorder and since it's attached to the back of the boom pole, it acts as a counterweight to the microphone. Since everything is so small, it's easy for cable management as well, though I would definitely suggest using shorter cables when using this kind of system. Now, this isn't the best option if you have to move your boom pole around a lot because there are some jingling parts that could introduce some noise into your recordings. So there you have it. There are a handful of options for elevating your recordings in your next project. 
And that's it for this episode. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm Jimmy Hepworth, your Saturday Sound Guy.